Hello, fellow drinkers. So today we have another round of our best Oktoberfest beer fight. But let me tell you a little bit about this if you're new here. So I am on a quest to find the best Oktoberfest. And some caveats on this, basically we are in the middle of a global pandemic and my total wine does curbside pickup. Most of the beers I have are from Wisconsin. I did try and get out of state a little bit as much as I could, um, but most of them are, are from around here. Basically, I'm choosing what I like, and you can let me know in the comments how wrong I am. <laughs> I am doing this blind. I had somebody else pour these for me. I actually don't even know which ones I'm doing. Again, that's up here. And with that, Let's go ahead and get started. I'll look at the color, the smell, the taste, and then make a decision on which one I like best. A here on the left and B here on the right. And as you can see, A is a little bit lighter than B. I'm going to go ahead and smell and taste A, smell and taste B, and then I'll kind of do some back and forth. For A here... Very malty, deep malty with a little bit of hop on the end. Let's go in for a taste on A. Okay. Yeah, the taste is, it's malty, hoppy, malty, hoppy, kind of back and forth. Ending kind of on the malty hops variation. <laughs> yeah, it's nice, complex. You're getting a little bit dark malt. So now on to B smell and taste and then we'll kind of go back and forth and see what we can find not much on the smell definitely malty and then let's go ahead and go in for a taste oh mm. that one's definitely different it's malty but almost fruity and not like the grape artificial stuff that i was talking about in the bells video um more just fruity. Let me try it again. Hmm. I'm not. Fruity isn't really the right word. I'm getting some malty now and hoppy. It just, it threw me for a loop when I first tasted it. I almost wouldn't put it as, no, it's an Oktoberfest, but it's more like a scotch ale side though. Oktoberfest, I mean, it's Oktoberfest. It's still hitting those notes of sweet and malty. It's just different than most of the Oktoberfests I've had so far in this and most of the Oktoberfests I've had, period. So I'm going to take one more taste of this and then probably do some A-B comparisons and then I'll let you know um, if there's anything of interest. Otherwise, I'll skip to the end and let you know my pick. Having A after B, A feels a lot lighter. I heard the gap any hops it was mostly just malt the more you drink a the more it comes out a nice rich malty sweet flavor back to b when i came back to it this time i got a sweet dark malt um much more oktoberfest it still has like like more um towards a scotch ale but not still oktoberfest still definitely has the classic flavors okay i think i'm gonna go with b as my winner it's just much more complex um while i was saying it's more on the scotchy all types of things it's like my second favorite beer so that would make sense but i just feel like it's more roasted malt um a tad less sweet tad less hoppy so i th think and it just it's more of a complex fight so the winner is b the three sheeps brewing which went up against revolution and this was actually kind of a hard one. I would have picked either, and I will probably drink both happily <laughs> for the rest of the time. Um, but in this round, the three sheeps moves on. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope you have an amazing day. Cheers!